All right, so this page is about area and perimeter. And I think the only word on this page that you've already done is length. So you're marking that one out. We're going to go ahead and look at the next page, too. Um, mark out all of that vocabulary because it's the same as here, except for the word cubic unit, and that one's actually on the next page. So I'm just making those adjustments. And then where I actually want you to start is on the back of this page. So I am on the facing page, and I'm making a line down. And over here, I'm writing the word perimeter, but I'm going to write it really slowly, and I'm not writing the entire word. I'm getting about this far, peri me. Okay? And the reason I do that is because I want the T to look like a big plus sign. And if the T looks like a big plus sign, that helps me remember that when I'm doing perimeter, I add. Okay? And then area, write it with a capital A. And if you write area with a capital A, then you can kind of extend the A to make it look like a time sign. Okay? And that's just a visual way to remember that when you're doing perimeter, you add, and when you're doing area, you multiply. Um, you also have, um, if you turn back, on your star reference materials, you have formulas for perimeter and area, just in case you forget. So perimeter for a square is 4s, because with a square, um, you can add up all four sides, or because they are the same, you can do four times the number of sides. And then perimeter for a rectangle is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And that is because the sides of a rectangle, opposite sides, are the same length. Okay. Um, the formulas for area for a square is side times side. And again, that's because with a square, all the sides are the same length. And the formula for um, a rectangle is either length times width or base times height. And that is true for our rectangle. Okay. Okay. Perimeter um, is the distance around. And it can be used for things like fencing or border. Okay. Perimeter is like a picture frame. I'm actually going around the picture frame, writing the word perimeter. Okay, so perimeter is like a picture frame. Okay, area is covers. Okay, it's the amount of surface covered. Okay. It's good for thinking about flooring or paint. Okay. And I can also think of area. Let's see how the word covers. You can think about like an area rug. Okay. Okay. So those are just some different things to think about with perimeter and area. Okay. Um, on this page, it says use blue to shade the spaces that involve finding the perimeter of a rectangle. Use orange to shade the spaces that involve finding the area of a rectangle. And um, these notes should help you with that. Um, there are two kind of thinking questions at the bottom. And then on the following page, um, each situation below requires um, measuring perimeter, area, or volume, okay, 
and remember that volume is like liquid. Um, so I'm just going to tell you like number six, filling a fish tank with water is volume. Okay, so if you're filling something up, you're doing volume. Okay, so you're going to write perimeter area or volume on each, each of these. And then for each term, describe another situation in which the measure is required. And then a thinking question at the bottom. Okay, so those are those pages.